Item number SCP-1990, Object Class Safe, Special Containment Procedures. SCP-1990 requires no specific containment procedures at this time and is to be kept in a standard storage locker in Research Area 20. Standard humanoid testing areas are to be required for the testing of SCP-1990. All of these testing areas must require a bed of any size. As such, Testing Chamber 2B is now the standard testing area for SCP-1990. Description SCP-1990 is a small, plush stuffed tiger. The name Sarah has been written in Faded Marker on the Care and Cleaning Instructions tag. SCP-1990 was discovered by Dr. Beep during routine info sweep of local towns near Foundation Site-14. Newspapers had reported a strange incident in which a man and a woman had died from suffocation, the cause of which was found to be burial under a large pile of 1925-issued dust marks. The couple had earlier reported that they were having money issues. Upon discovery of SCP-1990, Dr. Beep found a young girl approximately seven years of age in the house where the incident occurred. The young girl was in distressed state and was holding SCP-1990. SCP-1990's anomalous effects occur specifically when the subject is holding it before they go to sleep. The subject holding SCP-1990 must think of something they desire in the form of a wish, and then fall asleep for approximately 8 hours. Upon awakening, a mediocre version of the wished item or concept will occur. More advanced wishes start the moment the subject wakes up, or some wishes have been reported as not being fulfilled until later in the day. Attempts at making multiple wishes on the same day through multiple subjects, transferring SCP-1990 from one subject to another throughout the course of the day before each subject slept have failed. The original subject to make the wish must have SCP-1990 within 30 centimeters of the person for the remainder of the night, or else the wish will fail. Addendum Due to the nature of SCP-1990 and that wishes must be thought of instead of spoken, D-Class personnel would be too volatile or not trustworthy enough to be used to test SCP-1990. Dr. Beep has been assigned to carry out all testing of SCP-1990. All wishes that are of a physical material are to be designated as SCP-1991, SCP-1992, and so on. See test logs for additional information. Test logs of SCP-1990. Due to only Dr. Beep testing this material, he will be referred to a subject for the entirety of the test logs. Wish. Subject wished to find $20. Result. On the next day, subject awoke to find a medium-sized jar of liquefied metal, now designated as SCP-1991. Upon opening the jar, the liquid metal was not hard to touch and behaved much like mercury of room temperature. Further testing of SCP-1991 showed it was composed of 91.67% copper and 8.33% nickel. This was found to be the same alloy mixture as the current U.S. quarter. There was enough liquid in the jar to be sold for $5. Wish. Subject wish for a pet of the Canis lupus familiaris subspecies. Result. Subject awoke to a Pombroke Welch Corgi, designated now as SCP-1992, licking his face. SCP-1992 showed no anomalous effects and acted like a normal dog for its species. Subject named SCP-1992 Rex. Addendum. On the next day, SCP-1992 had disappeared entirely, including any shed hair or skin particles. Subject's memory was unaffected and he still remembered SCP-1992. Wish. Subject wished that no D-Class present now would die tomorrow from other SCP experiments. Result. No D-Class personnel died that day. Addendum. Due to no D-Class personnel dying that day, hundreds of SCP experiments were ruined, several doctors were killed, data expunged, and the test had to be repeated. Dr. Beep was given a disciplinary hearing and was deemed unfit to do further testing of SCP-1990 for the time being. Second Addendum. 
The next day, or D class personnel who would have died that day, or died according to what would have normally happened to them, under each SCP's effects at the specific times of testing. In addition, the doctors who died from that as well were found returning to work the next day with no memories of the previous tests. Dr. Beep was reinstated to continue testing SCP-1990. It seems SCP-1990's effects have a time period only with living beings. If SCP-1990 is keeping something alive, be it a fully functional living being or is preventing the death of something living, this effect seems to only last 24 hours. If SCP-1990 made a living being, that being will fade out of existence after the 24-hour period. Wish, subject wished to receive a surprise. Result, subject was seen throughout most of the day in the men's restroom vomiting. See Dr. Beep's additional notes on the matter. God freaking damn it! Everything tastes like broccoli! Wish, subject wished to not be able to taste broccoli. Result, subject reported that while nothing did taste like broccoli anymore, all other foods subsequently tasted of Brussels sprouts. I'm done here.